Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare two fantastic gaming headsets, both wireless, one from SteelSeries and one from Astro. This one is the Arc 69 from SteelSeries versus the Astro A50 Wireless Gen 4. Now, the Astro A50 is a more expensive headset. It is, however, one of my favorite devices, but it does lack Bluetooth, which is a reason you might consider the Arc 69 as an alternative option and they're both brilliant headsets that deliver really good audio fantastic comfort great style and they're all round two of my favorite headsets to be honest i've tested out quite a few different headsets now and i've unboxed both these headsets separately so if you'd like to see videos that go into a lot more depth on each of them please be sure to check out the links in the description where you'll find links to those videos that also include microphone samples because I use the microphone from the headset to do the unboxing and review videos so you can hear the mic sounds on both of them. These are two comparable devices in a number of ways because they both work with various different devices. The Arctic 9 for example will work with PC, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch and more because it has a Bluetooth connection. The Astro A50 wireless works with PS4, PC, Xbox, there is an Xbox variant separately, and anything that you can plug a 3.5mm connection into, as well as optical inputs and all sorts of other connection options. It doesn't, however, have the Bluetooth connectivity that the SteelSeries Arctic 9 does, and that is a real downer and a potential large downside because it means that you can't do simple things like connecting your phone to the Astro 50 but you can to the Steel Series headset and that's great for me because it means you can connect your phone and listen to music when you're out and about or even just around the house via Bluetooth on your phone which is something you sadly can't do with the Astro 50 hopefully in a future variant maybe they'll do it both these headsets are wireless offering decent battery life the Astro A50 sports 15 hours of battery life over a 30 foot range and I found it to be pretty decent in terms of the wireless range obviously that's going to vary depending on your setup of your house one thing I really like about the Astro A50 though is that it comes with this docking base station that makes it incredibly convenient that base station obviously beams out the wireless signal but it also works as a little place to put your headset when you're not using it which means that's where it gets its charge. The result of this is you never have to plug the Astro A50 in. I've never had to plug it into charge. You just dock it and then you'll see at the bottom that you get these little lights to let you know how much battery life there is. You get four little white squares on there that light up and when they're full, obviously they stop flashing anymore, then you know you've got maximum battery. On the ear cup itself, you also get a number of controls for power on and off switch between various profiles and turn Dolby surround sound on off as well. You can customize the profiles within Astro's command center software and then there's three different profiles that you can switch between on the fly just using those buttons on the right ear cup. Makes it really convenient to use and great to be able to change between the sound. In terms of sound I really feel like the Astro 50 delivers a fantastic sound great positional audio and really good experience on PC. I can't speak to console because I am a PC gamer, but the, you can get two variants of the Astro A50 that include this one, which is a PC and Xbox variant. And there's also a PC and PlayStation version. As you can see on the base station, there are a number of connections, including micro USB, 3.5 mil connection, optical in and out and a charging port as well as well as that switch to switch between sources if you've got it plugged into both PC and Xbox that allows you to then change between whatever sources you want one of the things I really like about this headset is that you can plug something like a 3.5 mil connection from say a microphone so that you can do mic monitoring if you have an external microphone on a boom arm for example you can just plug that into the base station then you can hear yourself through that mic inside the headset without having to plug any cables into the headset making it very convenient you obviously if you have a 3.5 mil connection on your phone you can connect in that way fortunately there's no USB-C connection to be able to connect your phone if that's how you work but it does mean that you do have a multitude of connection options and the headset just keeps going and going and doesn't need plugging in which makes it really convenient and easy to use. It's also very comfortable and nicely designed. It's one of my favorites in terms of comfort and it just keeps going in that area as well. Now, 
On the ear cup, you also have controls to balance between game and voice, which allows you to basically change the volume of the game or of the voice of your teammates, whether you're using Discord or some sort of voice chat service. It means if your friends are talking a bit too loud and you can't quite hear what's going on in game, you can just dial it the other way towards the game and hear more of that. Flip to mute microphone, decent quality on that. All round a pretty decent package as you can see. Now, the Steel Series Arctic 9 is a similar headset in a number of different ways. It connects to PC or PlayStation using this convenient little dongle. It's worth noting that will work with PlayStation 5 as well, in case you're interested. I have been using it on PC though. Plug it in to your device using the USB connection and then that gives you 12 foot or 40 meters of range and you can get 20 hours of battery life out of this headset. We'll go into that in a bit more depth in a minute. Another thing you'll note is that this has a line out and game in 3.5 mil jack on it. It works with the same sort of logic of what I was saying about the Astro headset that you can use a 3.5 mil connection and do some mic monitoring. So you can plug a mic into it, for example. That's how I've been using it or another source, which includes 3.5 mil connection. You'll also find micro USB charging cable in the box that you can plug into the headset to charge it when you need to. And there's a little LED indicator that lets you know when it's charged. You'll also note a 3.5 mil connection under there too, so you can connect the headset in a number of different ways. On the left ear cup, there is a game and chat mix dial and the same way that the Astro has the buttons, the Steel Series has a dial so you can basically dial between those and change the audio. On the right ear cup you have a volume wheel and a mic mute button. The mic mute button lets you know when the microphone is muted with a little audible noise inside the ear cup too. On the underside as I said you'll see USB charging port. 3.5mm connection and the power buttons to turn it on and the Bluetooth connection button. Again, between that you'll see the little light that lets you know how much charge it's got and it changes colour depending on how much charge the headset has left. If you press and hold the Bluetooth button you can put it into Bluetooth pairing mode and then you can connect it with any Bluetooth device. In my case I'm using it for my phone. Now this is where the SteelSeries Arctic 9 shines versus the Astro A50 because the Astro A50 doesn't have a Bluetooth connection so there's no way that you can do this. It's convenient because it means you can connect two different sources. You can have a wireless connection and the Bluetooth connection. You can connect even more if you add in a 3.5mm connection as well for mic monitoring like I said. But this is a fantastic feature of this headset because it basically means that you can connect those two sources at once and you can listen to both at the same time as well. So you can play music from Spotify on your phone or watch a YouTube video for example and hear it in the headset without detracting from the game audio or whatever else you're getting from your PlayStation or from your PC. Meaning that you get a dual connection with loads of potential awesomeness about it. Now, in terms of the Astro A50's comfort, as I was talking about, it's a nice fitting headset. It goes quite wide. Uh, the Astro A50 is kind of a bit more open in terms of the audio that it lets in, so you can hear your surrounding environment a bit more. And the ear cups aren't that deep, as you can see here. They come with this very soft material, which is like velvety soft, really comfortable to wear, and that's on the drivers too. And I found them to be one of the most comfortable headsets I've tried and still remain that now after all this time since I originally took it out of the box. Really comfortable bit of kit. You can also purchase a mod kit which allows you to put faux leather ear cups in place of the velour style ones and that then obviously blocks out a bit more noise. You can see again these aren't terribly deep and I don't find them as comfortable. Not that they're uncomfortable but they're not as comfortable as the standard ear cups but they do block out a little bit more external noise and help immerse you in the game a bit more because they're small and well designed they don't make your ears terribly hot either which is fantastic and the headband is fairly easy to fit too it just clips into place this is an optional accessory so as it is an extra purchase obviously that means an extra cost on top of an already expensive headset however if you want to change it you can and that's nice to be able to do that and it is nice to be able to customize the headset but I will say as standard I feel like you probably don't need to the comfort on it and the design of the headset means you get a good bit of audio and a certainly a wonderful amount of comfort all day long I find that I can wear this headset all through the day and into the night when gaming without any problem it's the same in terms of audio the Astro A50 has those 40mm drivers and goes up to 20,000Hz frequency response and it has that Dolby 
surround sound option. You can customize the sound within Astro's command center, but I feel like out of the box, I really like the default settings. I find that the profiles they have set up are good enough and that they deliver a good bit of audio. You can also get a setting specifically for the mod kit, so it changes the audio there. And you can tweak that settings until your heart's content. But the surround sound, positional audio, the quality of the audio is really good for me. I will note that some people have complained about the audio being too quiet on console. But I believe that's been patched with firmware. So it's worth checking for firmware updates once you get the headset. The Arctic 9 is quite a different design. As you can see, it has a solid metal headband that's very stretchy. I feel like it's probably more durable than the Astro A50. And a little bit more understated and that's because you can retract the microphone and get it out of the way and you can obviously use this out and about because it doesn't require connection to the base station in order to work which the Astro 50 does so it's a lot more flexible in that way the ear cups are an air weave cushioning design which is a bit more scratchy and certainly nowhere near as comfortable as the Astro 50. They are possibly a bit deeper and that results in the headset blocking out a fair amount of external noise, probably a bit more than the Astro 50. They're certainly not closed back, you won't find you won't be able to hear yourself and you can adjust side tone on the microphone of both these headsets so if you do struggle to hear yourself and you need to hear your own voice so you don't end up shouting and talking to your friends, you can adjust that within the software easily enough. Another thing you can do is you can remove the ear cups from the SteelSeries headset and you can purchase aftermarket ones. These are SteelSeries very own faux leather ear cups and you can put those on and obviously that again improves the noise cancellation because faux leather design blocks out a bit more external noise and they're really easy to fit although I'm making a hash of it during this video but there's basically a ridge around the driver that then, then this just goes over that in the lip and that sits on there. They are a bit more comfortable, I find, than the standard ear cups, which are verging on being a bit scratchy. It is worth noting that the ear cups on both of these headsets aren't particularly huge, although I don't find I have any pressure on my ears when using them, but that's obviously going to vary depending on the size of your ears. These are certainly comfortable to wear, and the headband design is unusual. You, as I said, it has this metal headband design to it, similar to that on the Arctic Pro Wireless that you can see here on the right but you have this ski goggle headband design that sits on top of your head. The Astro A50 headset that has that padding at the top that then sits on top of your noggin and you're very comfortable to wear, whereas the Steel Series has that material band instead and that sits with that on your head rather than the headband itself. So it's quite an unusual design in that way. At the end of the day, both these headsets are very nice. I must say, the Astro A50 has been my favourite for a long time. The SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless was my second favourite. And the Arctic 9 is a less expensive cut-down version of the SteelSeries Arctic Pro Wireless, making it more affordable but still with a lot of the great features that that headset has. It has great sound, it has DTS Headphone X version 2 surround sound, it has a decent microphone to it, decent quality, but more importantly, it has that connectivity option allowing you to connect to wireless and Bluetooth at the same time and use both those soundscapes at the same time, which is a real selling point for me. You can also change out the ear cups as I showed you, and you can change out the ski goggle headband and swap that out for another one with a different style to it. So you can customize the look and feel of this headset, which you can't really do with the Astro apart from changing for the mod kit. Hopefully you found this video useful. Be sure to check out the unboxing and review videos to get a more in-depth look at both headsets. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you and have a great life.